Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Greetings of peace to each and every one of you I hope and pray that you, we are all doing good and fine In good health in this time of pandemic wherever you are I am Abdullah I'm Ahmad A Muslim youth from Marawi City, Lana del Sur I am here to speak and share to you about my views My thoughts and opinions about the state of the nation today Well as a youth there's only one word for me to describe the state of our nation today it is and that that word would be thriving we all know that our nation has been going through a lot it's been through difficult times tough of times we've met 26 typhoon every year at least 26 we've had we've been facing issues on corruption human trafficking we've been battling drugs ever since and then we are also faced by terrorism and all of these are major factors that somehow hinder our progress. But well, as we all know, we are a resilient nation. The people of the Filipino people are resilient. We easily bounce back, we rise above these challenges. And that's one thing to be proud of. One thing I'm sure of is that despite all those challenges and with this pandemic that started last year, one thing I'm sure of with, with all our concerted effort, with the leadership of our government, with the active involvement and participation and cooperation of the Filipino people, we will be surviving this all together. And it takes us as a one community, as a nation, to survive and keep thriving in all the challenges that we will be facing in the future. The Philippines today has been under for five years under the Duterte administration. And how has been the youth youth center? For me as a youth, the way I see it, I can say that the youth have, have emerged to be the future leaders that our ancestors envisioned them to be. Yes, I can attest to that, specifically in our experience in, in Marawi, when the Marawi siege happened. Today, you can see lots of young people, men and women, volunteering, joining organizations, using themselves as a resources to be not just a tool for development, but as a par partner for development. They see themselves not just as mere victims, but as survivors. They see themselves, or they realize their potentials as youth to be the future leaders. I mean, they, can, they are not just meant to be the leaders in the future. They are practicing it now. They've realized that they don't need to be the leader in the future when they can start to being a leader of today's time. And for the past five years, youth, youth acti uh, activeness, youth involvement in different community works, development works, has been active, especially in our province. Because back in my high school elementary, I don't usually see many youth engaging and integrating themselves in development works and at present i see all this happening i see many of my fellows in promoting climate uh, advocating peace promoting our culture uh, doing business um, contributing a lot of advocacy works in many different areas such as the sustainable development goals in education, in health, in environment, etc. And that's how I see the youth of today. If there would be a program that I would suggest for the government to focus on would be a program that is intended for children a program addressing the needs of children who were who were orphaned by wars, who 
who were orphaned by because of the pandemic, children who were deprived of having living a better condition and a better life though because of those challenges children who do not have access to education because they were abandoned and orphaned at, er at such an early age example of those are those whose parents are rebels whose parents are member of the philippine army or government forces children whose parents died because of the pandemic and the children who belong into the indigenous people or what we call the lumat because as children they will soon take over the role of the youth of today and eventually they will be the ones in the lead in the in the future or the generation to come and i think it would be better to be investing in their capacities and future this early before it's too late and lastly if there would be a program or an intervention or any kind of assistance that the government should give or prioritize for the youth sector it should be there full support to these young people in advocating sustainable development goals and helping them promote and do this such kind of noble advocacy because after all it is for the future. The youth of today are very much capable. While they don't have that resources, they have all the capacity, the capabilities and the abilities to do so and with the right amount of support assistance from the government i think it would strengthen our chance to battle climate change the sustainable development goal has been a trend now and i think the young people are so into it because they see the benefit they see the importance and significance of these goals, not just for themselves. Them as a young leader, they think ahead. They don't do things or they don't work to achieve a certain goal for themselves, for their personal consumption or interest, but they do it for the future. The government is really a, a major help for them to be promoting, advocating, and in the front lines of sustainable development goals. That will be all, and thank you.